So fall is unofficially upon us. It's going to be fall in um, a week, actually, which is exciting uh, because that's my favorite season. Pumpkin spice, my birthday, the leaves changing, everything great happens in fall. <laughs> anyway, so that means the fourth quarter of the year is coming up. Um, kids are back in school. Maybe you're deep diving back into your work to set yourself up for a great 2024, which I guess we need to start thinking about right now. I don't know. Anyway, so I think it is the perfect time to dive into your KV core system and set up your mass emails if you do send holiday emails to your CRM. So we're going to do that right now. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Katie and I am the CRM fairy and I help real estate agents with their marketing, uh, specifically within the KV core system, but also with social media and through other things as well. So anyway, we are in KV core right now and we are in the marketing tab. So we're going to scroll down just a bit and head to scheduled mass emails. All you got to do is click get started. Maybe you got to click it twice like me. Uh, and then we are here in the mass email scheduler. And then from here, it's actually super easy. I think you can set up um, your entire holiday email repertoire uh, within a few minutes once you get the hang of it. So here, big green button tells you to schedule your mass email. This big page pops up and then you choose the who, the when, and the what. So here we have who. Who are you sending these mass emails to? If you do happen to have a saved filter in your CRM system, um, I believe I made a video on how to to make like a quick button with a saved filter. Um, I'll try to link that in the description if I remember. Um, but if you go click this little bubble here and then click the search bar that's right underneath it. These are the saved filters that I have. I only have three. So let's say I wanted to send a mass email to my active leads. I could do that right here with a saved filter of active leads. I can also send to a hashtag. So here it does take maybe a couple of seconds to, to think. There we go, the, the little bubbles thinking. Uh, but your hashtags will pop up here. So I can send it to previous open house guests. I could send it to my email list, which makes sense because I'm sending a mass email. Um, this is also a saved filter that I have based on people who are in my smart CRM system with a valid email address. So they are my email list because I can send emails to them. Uh, or you can click this third bubble here and send to a status. So if I want to do uh, my sphere and my closed clients, for instance, if it's like a more personalized thing, um, if you're just sending like happy holidays to um, the active people in your your smart CRM, they might just like over overlook it or whatever but this is a nice reach out to like people that you've closed on in the past year or so or two years um just to have a little reminder in their inbox that you still exist and that you're still a real estate agent if they do need you <laughs> so we're going to send to our personal statuses there's my dog just making all the noise in the world because i'm recording a video <laughs> um here is the from, which is me. It would be you, obviously. Um, and then here's the when. So if you do click this little uh, date, we can scroll through easily here. And then we could choose Halloween if we want. Um, if you do not press OK, if I just click off of it, the date stays the same. So you do want to get in there. You want to click your date and then you want to press OK to make sure that it changes here uh, and your mass email goes out the day that you want it to. And then you can click time right here. I think the best times are anywhere between like eight and noon because that's when people are like checking their personal emails, I guess, maybe when they, they sign into work and they need a minute. <laughs> or you could actually send between like 4 and 8 p.m. because then people are signing off of work and they're checking their personal email again. 
I do like to be in their inbox earlier in the day. So I usually go with 8 or 9 a.m. Let's split the difference and go 8.30. Okay. So we are sending on Halloween at 8.30 a.m. And then we're going to see what kind of templates that KV Core will offer us. They're not going to be good. I can tell you that now. Uh, but we will just choose one. <laughs> um, I have another video in which we go through the, um, what is it called? Advanced um, email editor. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're in the basic editor. This is the advanced editor. I will try to link that video as well. So you can build your own template from scratch and it'll be better than this generic KV core thing that's a little bit boring and, oh, I hate that picture. Oh, so much. Anyway, so we have our who, to, who, from, when, send, <laughs> and then what. So this is the template that we have. Um, you can change the subject line here if you don't like it, but you like everything else. You could actually go in here and change things around in here as well. Uh, change your message, all of that stuff. Add a button, change button, do whatever you need to do. Uh, this little toggle, you want to make sure it's off. If there is um, an agent signature, signature, um, an agent signature, um, merge tag going on because if you click this on then your signature will be here and your signature will be below everything and then you have double signature you look a little weird so anyway we have everything filled out and then all we have to do is hit schedule and that it's as easy as that so we're going to do that again um for thanksgiving so again, I want to send to my sphere and my closed, and I want to do it the week of Thanksgiving. I'm not going to go Thanksgiving day because there's going to be a million things from a million newsletters that people are getting. So we're just going to go with the week of, and then we'll choose, again, KV Core's generic, uh, grateful for you, um, little email. I do suggest making your own emails, uh, making them look better than this, choosing your own photo, maybe sending like a picture of you um, giving thanks or something like that. <laughs> um, maybe even put your picture in the agent signature so they know that it's you, but choosing a better picture that suits your personality and your message better. I'm just showing you how to set up the mass email, not how to actually write the copy for it. Maybe that will be next week's video. So again, quickly, we have our who, we have our when. We're going to do 8.30 a.m. again. And then we just click schedule. And then we're done. So we have um, Halloween. We have Thanksgiving. And then here we go again. Boom. Boom. December, we're going to go with the Friday before Christmas, just because that feels better to me than talking to people on Christmas Eve or Christmas. We're going to go with our same time. And then we're going to go with KV Coors. Happy holidays. Pick a number between one and four. Let's do three. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there are four templates here they all look exactly the same um whoever makes them for kv core is not very creative so we'll just use this tree baking wreath hanging and gift wrapping oh my the holiday season is here sending warm moisture your way that's not bad um picture's a little big though i'm not gonna go nuts okay so then boom schedule so quickly, once I did it once and I knew exactly who I was sending to and when, then within a matter of minutes, I could set up one email a month at least that's personalized rather than just <clears throat> um, like a listings email. So I could send my holiday emails for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas all in one sitting and I don't have to think about it. I'm going to be in their email boxes at least once a month 
um, hopefully more with the, all the automations that are set up for people. Um, and then if you remembered uh, something that you wanted to add to your email, if you changed the template at all, anything like that, these can be edited up until the scheduled date and time. Or if you don't want to send them at all, you can just click this X and then everybody just goes away. And then you've got no scheduled emails. But if you are planning on sending emails during the holiday time to your CRM, then this is a great way to do it. It's a great way to, to incorporate everybody that you want to using the hashtags or the statuses, that sort of thing. Um, and then, oh, one thing I might add to the email, if you are gonna use a generic template from KV Core, just so you don't have to think about it, is a call to action. So a couple of them did have that button that said, visit my website, but I would do something more specific like, um, reply to this email and tell me where you are in your home buying journey, that sort of thing. Um, so people really tell you where they are. You could update their profile in your smart CRM. And then you can start a conversation with them about their buying or selling journey. All right. Um, I do hope that helps. And I hope that you get all the things scheduled in advance so you can do the million other things that are going on in this season of the year. Um, leave me a comment and then tell me um, what kind of videos that you would like to see next um, and where you are in your business and your KV Core journey. Thanks for watching.